Hey y'all, welcome to the Style Chronicles. I thought I would do a little mini haul. Um, two things I picked up at, where did I pick them up at? Target. Target? Yeah, Target. Yeah, three things I picked up at Target actually, and then a little Sephora haul. Very, very small Sephora haul. Um, <clears throat> Here's the third thing. Okay, first up, I needed uh, mascara, so I picked up the L'Oreal Voluminous Extra Volume Collagen Mascara. <laughs> um, I know a lot of people like the L'Oreal Voluminous, the regular formula, and that's what I had in my hand, and then I saw this one, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to try that one. Um, this is up to 12 times more impact instantly, So, and I always buy the blackest black one. Um, I do not care for waterproof mascara unless I am going to a wedding um, or funeral. I hate to say it, but a funeral. But that's the only time I care for waterproof. The rest of the time, I can't get it off my lids at the end of the night. So, yeah. <laughs> this is the one I chose. I'm hoping it works wonders, um, but we'll see. And when it comes to my lashes, you guys know that I have, like right here, I was missing all of these right here, this whole little chunk of them. And you can see where they're finally starting to grow back in. It just drove me nuts for months. Um, but I had, I don't know if I had an allergic reaction to something I was using on my face, like that Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. It made my whole face kind of really, you know, bad, uh, break out really bad. And then a lot of people had asked if I had put it too close to my eyes. Maybe that's why my lashes had fallen out. I'm not too sure, although I can tell you that my allergies can be so bad. My eyes will itch, and I have a habit of doing this. And I know sometimes I do it in my sleep, like, you know, just rub my eyes in my sleep. And I think I ended up rubbing them off, like too, rubbing too hard, and they fell off. Um, but it's a whole little chunk right here that is finally growing back in. So I've been wearing false lashes on the weekends, like when we go out and stuff um, for dinner or when we go anywhere where we're around people, um, I tend to wear the false lashes, or I was wearing the false lashes because there was just so much of a bare spot that I felt like I didn't look right. And then I felt like people were staring at it um, or the bald spot when I didn't have them on. So I was, I've been wearing false lashes for a little while. Um, so this, I'm hoping, is worthwhile. Next thing is um, my hair color. This is kind of... It never fails. It doesn't matter how light or how dark I dye my hair. And you guys know I do my hair myself. Um, it always, once it fades, you know, a couple weeks, about six weeks from when I originally color it, it always comes this color. Um, and it's it's a pretty color. It is a pretty color. And I wouldn't mind it if it was kind of summer season uh, or spring season. But right now, it's a little too red for the red lipsticks or the dark berries that I want to wear. Um, when I have my hair this color with the red lipstick, I feel like there's just too much red like going on around here. Um, so I really do, in the winter, I prefer the Snow White look. Really, you know, dark hair with pale skin and red lip. So I picked up the next box of dye, and I thought I would share that with you guys because I get a lot of questions all the time as to what color I use and how I do it and all that stuff. And I go back and forth. I use the, the Feria brand, um, the Garnier Nutrice, and this Sublime Mousse, the L'Oreal Sublime Mousse. This one happens to be my absolute favorite. I love the Sublime Mousse. Um, sometimes when it's full price, I never get it. That's kind of when I go to like the Feria um, and Feria has just been something that I, it's like, I think it's Revlon Feria. It might be L'Oreal Feria. I'm not too sure. But that is like what I've always just used over the years. So Garnier Nutrice is another one. They're just kind of the three brands that I rotate between and that I just go for. Um, and the Sublime Mousse, when it's full price, I never really buy it. And I'll go to like the Revlon or the Garnier Nutrice. But this was on sale. It was like $8, I think. Um, and occasionally, you know, they just do that where it drops down and then I'll pick that color up. But this is one of my favorite ones, and it's called uh, Pure Dark Brown. It's number 40, Pure Dark Brown. And you can see kind of the shade right there. And it's just a cool um, dark brown <laughs> shade. And it kind of, you know, my hair has so much red in it um, that I really don't like to use anything with the word gold or golden in it because that will pull your hair warm. Like, it'll give it kind of this undertone. Um, and so if I was to use that, my hair would be even more red or orangey uh, brown. So I always stick with 
a very cool toned or ashy shade. Um, so that's where this comes in, pure dark brown. And that's what I'll be using next. And of course, I will probably get a million questions once I do it and it's fresh and everybody you know, always asks what color it is, but this is the one I'll be using. There's that. And then lastly at Target, my husband and I were there and um, last year was the first year that we had an elf on the shelf. Uh, my daughter had an elf on the shelf and he, you know, the elf comes and lives in your house um, until Christmas. And last year he showed up on Thanksgiving and he was here every day. He uh, goes and comes at night. He'll leave and come back in the morning. And he shows up like in a different area of your house uh, every, every day. Or some days he'll be in the same. Like today he's right here on our liquor bottles. Um, but he's been there for, yeah, he's been there since yesterday. So anyway, um, the elf is here just to kind of monitor Eva and her brother, make sure that they are being behave and that they're, you know, doing as they're supposed to. And he reports to Santa how they are doing. Um, and, you know, just he comes to stay for the season. And he does, it's very sad, but he does leave Christmas Eve. Uh, when Santa comes to visit, Santa takes him home with him. So he goes back to his family. Uh, for the rest of the year. From his grandma. From his grandma? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he goes to see his grandma for the rest of the year. Um, and the elf comes unnamed, uh, wow. and you get to name him. And last year, Eva named him Alvin. This year, he she has chosen to change his name. She asked yesterday if she could change his name to Chippy. She wants to name him Chippy now. But... We also have a book that we read at night, and I still I need to show you guys the books we're reading now because we've switched over to... Um, Christmas books, but I'll do that in another video. Anyhow, so we were at Target the other day when I was getting those things, and my husband found a movie, and it's called An Elf Story, and it's from the Elf on the Shelf Christmas tradition, and it, it it's from, you know, it's the same elf um, story and everything. Um, so it's called The Elf Story, or An Elf Story, and it just kind of tells the story of the Elf on the Shelf, and how... Um, the whole idea is if you touch the elf, the children are not, he's not allowed to be touched. If you touch the elf, he loses his magic. Um, so, like, we make sure every day that when he comes, he's up high somewhere, um, that the kids can't touch him because touching, you know, would render him unmagical and unable to go home every night. I know I sound crazy, but my daughter's right there. Um, go home every night and come home, you know, come back. So, you're not allowed to touch him, but you can talk to him all, all you want. You can tell him, you know, how you're feeling, ask him, you know, how he's doing. Um, you can, you know, share with him whatever you've done that day. Um, ask him for, you know, your Christmas presents or whatever you want to do. You can talk to him. He doesn't talk back. Uh, sometimes in our house, he does talk to my husband. And uh, he'll communicate through my husband with my daughter, Eva. But he has yet to talk to me. Um... He's just kind of quiet, and he just watches. So anyway, so that is really fun story, and my daughter has watched it over and over and over again. Okay, let me talk, please. Over and over and over again um, since we got it. So that's that. Next is my Sephora haul, and this is very, very small. It is not the VIB sale or anything like that because um, I, didn't, I didn't purchase anything from the VIB sale. This is just something that I need for a Christmas party that we're going to pretty soon. And I will tell you what I've got. First up, my, um, here it is. There's a little bag. My Smashbox Studio Skin Foundation. Um, I love that foundation. That is my fancy foundation or my dress up foundation. Um, every day, like what I'm wearing right now is just MAC Studio Fix Fluid. I love that for every day. Um, it's one of the only you know ones that I can wear every day. This is my dressy foundation, my favorite. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I started wearing this because of my friend Teresa from, she now goes by Brunette Beauty Blogger, and I keep forgetting that. She was Risa777, but now she's Brunette Beauty Blogger. She turned me on to this foundation because she loved it, and then she would wear it in her videos, and every video she'd wear it in, I would ask her what she had on in that video because her skin just looks so beautiful and luminous and just gorgeous. And this is what she was wearing. I had, or I still have, a full-size bottle, but I'm getting to the bottom of it, and I did not want to run out, so I ordered some new foundation. I ordered directly from birchbox.com because I like to use my points. 
Um, but it won't be here until, I don't know, next week or the week after. I'm not exactly sure when it'll be here. And I did not want to, you know, run out with the amount that I have and not have enough, you know, for Christmas parties that are coming up. So I asked for a sample when I was at um, Sephora because, I just, you know, I probably have enough for like three more applications. But what if I didn't, you know, like what if I run out in the middle? I don't know. So I had to get a sample of that. And then next is my concealer. Everyday concealer, I use MAC Studio Fix. Um, in the colder months, like right now, I'm using the Studio Sculpt concealer because it's a little bit more emollient and it doesn't, it creases in the summer when I'm really sweaty and you know humid. Um, but for the winter months, it's perfect um, every day for everyday use. I don't like it for dressier occasions because on dressier occasions, I like for my face to be kind of luminous and then I like to be matte at the same time, but I like to have shimmer and highlight where I put it at. Um, I don't like to do that every day, but on dressier occasions, I do, and that concealer doesn't work well with that. So the one concealer that I absolutely do love, and I had a sample of this, actually I still have a sample because the lady like literally squeezed half a tube of it into the sample container, um, is the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. And I am in shade one, there's the one. Um, it's the lightest one that they make. And it comes like this, and this concealer is heaven. It covers everything, like literally everything, and you can build it. So you can put it on, set it with powder, wait a couple of, you know, minutes, wipe that, brush some of that, you know, excess powder off and do another layer of it, set it with powder, wait a couple minutes, and brush some of that powder off and then even, you know, do several more layers if you wanted to. And that's the secret to it if you're going to do the layers with this foundation. Don't do it with MAC foundations, it doesn't work. They get goopy and thick and crease and weird. This one layers beautifully, um, you know, even set with a powder. And then you just wait, you know, so that absorbs, brush the excess off, and then another layer. So it layers wonderfully. And I love it for my under eye down here. And the one thing that they will tell you, if you go into Sephora and you ask for, you know, oh, I need a concealer that covers, they will turn you on to everything but this. They will show you, you know, Laura Mercier, the secret cover. That's like everybody's number one. I have that. It doesn't do anything for my dark circles. Um, the Yves Saint Laurent, the Touche Clot. I love that. It's a highlight, great highlight doesn't do anything for my under my dark circles. Um, they will turn you on to so many other concealers and really, really steer you away from this because if you don't really understand how to use it, it will look so bad. It'll crease and be cakey and all that stuff. So number the biggest thing is, is you have to have your under eye moisturized. And by moisturized, you literally have to wear moisturizer at night, like an eye cream at night when you go to bed and then do your you know morning eye cream before you put this on and let it really sink in so you're like you have to have moisture under there from like the day before literally um and then you know you pat it in what if i do it that way and then i set it with powder it looks beautiful love it but if i don't wear moisturizer the night before i plan on wearing this and i don't do moisturizer in the morning again after i washed my face before i plan on wearing this it does weird things on my skin it settles and it creases and it looks weird so i think the key to it is moisture in your skin already and you really do have to have it in the day before you wear it. I know that sounds crazy but it's a secret to it. Um, and then also the the buildable coverage. So there's that and lastly two pairs of lashes that um, I wanted to get because I love lashes when I dress up yeah. and these look fabulous. Look at how pretty those look. Don't they look gorgeous? I mean I was like they look pretty, they're gonna look pretty. Okay, and then I started playing with them last night and they don't look so pretty. They're thick, but they don't look so pretty and I'll show you why. What, honey? Um, I need my scissors. You need your scissors? Where are your scissors at? I don't know. Okay, well give me a second and I'll get them for you. Okay, this has a little bit of like tacky strip to it. Um, so I'm just gonna pop it on so you guys can see what I'm talking about. It probably won't look right. Okay, do you see that? Look at that. That just looks yeah. weird. There, it doesn't, I know. It I, I don't like it. I know you don't like it. It doesn't look, you know, I mean, I, I knew the thickness would be okay, like in here. Well, it's not really on, is it? I don't know. I guess I was just expecting something completely different. And that wing just does not go with my eyes. Does that make sense? Do you see that? It just doesn't look good, you know? Like, I guess 
if my eyes were wider or something, it would look better. And then I even thought if I, like, winged it up, well, that even, I don't know, it just looks so weird. I had it on last night and my husband was like, I don't like that, it looks kind of funky. And it's just that outer thing. So I don't know if I cut like that off, you see how much I'd have to cut off though, like this whole piece right here would have to come off. And then just use these like, I don't know. I'm really just not, it doesn't look right, not on me. Yeah, so they just don't, I don't know. They look beautiful in the box, but not so great when they were on. And these are the Sephora brand ones. Um, look like that. that. That outer corner just doesn't work with my eyelid. So that's those. And these are, they're mink, and they're number 263s. Um, and then I got individual ones, which go, they're just individual lashes. And I was interested in these because... Jennifer Goodwin, I love her. Oh, I love her. She's so beautiful. That short hair, I love that short hair. But she's really well known for her lashes. Like, she's always got beautiful lashes on. And um, for the, was it Grammys, Emmys? One of the award shows not too long ago, like two weekends ago, she had bottom lashes on and they looked, I mean, in photographs, they popped. And on TV, they just popped off the camera and I was in love. Um, and I started reading and it said that she just does, you know, false ones. She, I think like four pairs and dots them on and it just, it looked really pretty. So I thought I would play around. If that doesn't work for me, I can always use these in the outer corners of my eye. Um, and then, oh, the other thing, my hair. I can't deal with it. I just can't. There's, yeah, I can't. I feel shaggy. I feel so un kept it's driving me insane so I have um, scheduled a haircut and the other thing too is I'm trying to grow my hair out at like one of the worst times of the year um, it's Christmas so there's Christmas parties there's all kinds of you know fundraisers and galas and all these things and that means lots of pictures and I'm not comfortable with how my hair looks right now I think any other time of the year I'd be like eh, okay like if it was June and July I would be like whatever you know it doesn't really matter but for this time of the year, it's just the wrong time for me because I just feel, you know, I feel scraggly. Um, so I'm getting it trimmed up so that it's nice and neat. And I'll keep the length in the front, but the back is going to get trimmed again. Um, yes, honey, hold on. So that's what's going on with my hair. I know I said I was going to grow it out. I don't know, honestly. I don't know at this point if I can grow it out. Um, I started... I, you know, I love the fact that I can do this with it. Like, I get a little bit of a ponytail. And I want, more than anything, to okay, be able... My hair? Yes, like your hair. To be able to wear it up or in a bun. You know, I'd love to be able to do that. Honestly, though, or just a, um, like a French twist, you know? Just a simple French twist would be it's really pretty. pretty. But honestly... I think I am one of those people that looks better with short hair um, than they do with long hair. And like Jennifer Goodwin, I'll use her as an, uh, as an example. As beautiful as she looks with her hair all short and beautiful and just trimmed up. When I started looking for pictures of her with her eyelashes, I came across a lot of them from when she had long hair. And honestly, I think she looks way better with short hair way more chic and just it makes her face pop out so much more um, with the short hair and beautiful skin so I think I might be one of those people that is just more comfortable and feels better with um, short hair because it's always styled it's always fixed and I just always feel put together um, versus having long hair and when I had long hair it was like a ponytail one day a bun another day you know it, it, I never really took care of it or um styled it the way that I do my short hair so I'm almost done yes so that is where I'm at um hair wise that might come as a disappointment to some of you because I know a lot of you were like grow it out grow it out and it's like I said when I was telling you I was going to grow it out I might still grow it out um but right now it's just not the best time because the Christmas season and all the you know just stuff like our Christmas card I haven't even wanted to take our Christmas picture yet our family one because I just don't feel good I don't feel right about my hair so that's that okay 
I gotta go because Eva has to go potty. Um, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.